Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know what it is exactly, but apparently my controls didn't save, so I can't actually use my shtick anymore. So that's unfortunate. Stick does nothing, and right trigger once again does nothing. I think it's supposed to count <laughs> as tapping on the screen, so... Yeah, why is it raining for three days in a row? I need it to stop raining so I can buy monster barns. But it's still been raining. Why? Why is it going to just rain forever? Somebody start building a boat. I would collect two of every animal, but I can't because I can't make monster barns. What's going on? It's not like it's even raining inside the cave, so I still have to water all of these. <laughs> okay then. No. Oh no, I took one point of damage from that thing. Excuse you! Okay, right back to all of this watering. Everything is fine. Gotta remember to go out in town to talk to that one fella. And you. Yeah, I wonder if I can convince Zara to just for us to just finish off a, another game again. How is the schedule going? I'm running out of Ratchet and Clank. I still have tons of episodes of Crystal Project left to go. So I still have a few more weeks of Crystal Project. So that's cool. I hope that uh, the cucumbers food, that the pickles wind up growing, you know, better than, uh, growing, wind up cooking better than the turnips did, otherwise I'm going to be very disappointed. Wind up cooking better, I mean, yes, I would love to find a way to cook stuff faster. Hey, once I unlock the recipe, I should be able to just select the recipe and then try to cook the thing. It shouldn't require me to, you know, rebuild the recipe from scratch every single time. Like, seriously, what's up with that? Okay, I can totally go like this. Beep, beep. So I only need about 40 more stops. Need a fair chunk more money. That's what else. But I need 40 stops. So here's two right here. Probably gonna be what, five in the other room? Is there any other farmland in this cave? I should actually look that up. Just to see if it would be worthwhile to go even deeper into the cave, try to find something. Wow, only one. To be fair, I guess I did clear it out yesterday.
Okay, also, uh, we're approaching uh, very, very, very close to the one year anniversary of my surgery. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? One year, and yes, there is still nerve damage. Shoot. Come on, just run out. Okay, I can three hit these things now. Shoot. I guess I'll talk to the doctors, huh? This is actually probably faster. Chemistry table would be nice. I'm not sure if I actually could get one here. So in essence, I basically just can't sprint. That's it. Oh my gosh, wait. Are you kidding me? I show up like a minute late. And I have to redo all of that over again. Everything from the night before until now. Now here's the question, is it still going to be raining? It is not raining now. So that means I have to water everything. However, I can also have a monster barn be built, so I guess... This actually requires some amount of concentration here. Well, now I don't have to go to the hospital anymore, so that's cool. So go to the guy. You. 
mayonnaise maker, cheese maker, yogurt maker, seed maker. Things are bound to be useful. Yogurt maker. Milk to make yogurt. Just take all of the stuff. Get as much stuff as I can. Closed on holidays, of course. Oh, well, these. oh, good. And they have little images for all the things, too. grow. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Gosh, I was doing so well uh, last time when I had... when it was still raining. Alright, that's right, that's right. I still have to go out to the farm. Oh, the... I, I was just there. I can't close when it's raining, it's close on holidays. I have half a mind to reset again until it's uh, raining again today. Yeah, I can't exactly grind uh, experience on days where I have to spend all day farming. about two grand right there. Easy. But yeah, and then we just grind up a little bit. Remember these things used to do like 20 or so damage to me? I'm getting hit constantly, but it's still only just like one damage at a time, so it's like not really an issue. It's an issue about time, I guess. But I take more damage by watering them than I do by actually being hit by them. Each one I kill is like four 
Each one I defeat takes four hit points, even if I don't get hit by it. So I guess one could say that every four hits is one less that I can defeat. Yeah, I can't wait until my defense is so high that I'm not taking any damage from them and also not getting knocked down, but that doesn't seem so likely. <coughs> hey, I saw the Mario movie recently. That was a nice movie. Not gonna spoil stuff about it, but, but it was nice. It would be really neat to see a whole, um, was it, you know, like, what they're doing with the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Something like that, but for, a, like, Super Smash Bros. Just a whole bunch of, like, Nintendo IP movies. Oh, yeah, a Legend of Zelda movie could be really, really good. But it has, like, really big shoes to fill to actually make a good movie of it. I think if they do make a uh, Legend of Zelda movie, it would either have to be, you know, a totally new plot, or probably Ocarina of Time. Considering that OOT is the one that ex uh, spreads out... Lover. The one that causes the timeline shift, split, whatever. Yeah. It would be so nice if after, you know, taking like a hundred baths or something, or, yeah, or, you know, whatever, getting the bathhouse person to like you enough. If she'd just be all like, yeah, I trust you to just use the baths uh, responsibly. He's like, hey, even if I'm closed, feel free to come on in, put 10 G in, you know, in the drawer, in the tip jar, whatever, and just go and have a bath. I've said, gotta spend all day farming. Yeah, gonna try to spend the rest of my health on, uh... Oh, well, yeah, most of the health on farming more. remember too well my first time playing through Room Factory. I remember playing through it and reaching the end and it being very um, anticlimactic overall. But I don't really remember it. Like, like say Harvest Moon Friends of Middletown. I remember like buying that game and like getting back into the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, I remember it taking the jeep out to walmart i got in like the used or old game bin whatever because walmart used to have that just outside the electronics section big old bin with like hundreds of games in there and i found the harvest moon game and i was like oh this looks like fun so i got the game and decided like hey yeah for my mom to buy me the game because well, I was like 10 or so. It's not like I had money to buy the game for myself. If 
better have enough to do all of this watering. I don't quite, but I can eat one of the plants and then I'll have enough. No, you don't. It's fine, it's fine. You are fine, it's fine. It is after 7 p.m., but the bathhouse should still be open after 7. So nice and relaxing, you know. Good evening. Oh yeah, uh, tomorrow is Cheap Tuesday, so that's fun. Where are they? Good evening. Hey. Nope. Here's an apple. Tabitha likes us a bit more, but we still have to get monster barns to get her to uh, start to appreciate us. Yeah, 50 monsters? 50 monsters sounds like a lot. Okay, so I've done all of the watering, so now it's just a matter of doing some grinding. Yeah, the green grass is really rare, isn't it? Just here to grind and hopefully get up to another level and especially hopefully to uh, get more attacking power. Huzzah! Huzzah! I love a mod for this game where I can see the time on uh, this screen. Oh gosh, imagine Boom Factory, but it's also Metroidvania. There are like areas in the dungeons that like you need, say, higher level tools to get into. So you have to go to later dungeons to get like the better ores, like you know, get silver, get gold, get holy calc and whatever, to get better tools to break through the barriers to open up new dungeons. I think Dark Chronicle tried to do a Metroidvania thing. It didn't really go well. I spent way, way, way too much time uh, as a child playing Dark Chronicle trying to get into that star path in the forest. Because I thought, it's like, hey, here's a path here. I should be able to go in it. But no, it's... You can't go in until, what, chapter 5, chapter 6? Yeah, 
It is such a shame that the Monster Transformation only run wound up going so poor the way it did. Monster Transformation Run. Yeah, that was last year, wasn't it? But hey, I mean, Dark Cloud Minimum Dungeon Entry turned out fine. Yeah, it turned out fine because I found out, hey, you can get infinite grinding done. I do want to try a uh, Dark Cloud Minimum Dungeon Entry No Back Floors as a challenge. Woohoo! More attack power! Can I guarantee a two shot now? Okay, so for my range is 20 to 22. 20 to 25. 20 to 26. Oh, nope, 19. I need even more attack to uh, guarantee too short, but if 19 is the minimum now, it is very likely to two shot. Yeah, it's looking like 19 to 26. I'm not counting misses as because it's like, oh well technically you could still 10 shot because you could just miss the first like nine times. Hey, Appa. Oh, and also, weird thing happened, what, yesterday, day before? Uh, a post that I had on RP Nation had two, that I posted back in, like, February? I got, like, two separate people both interested in it. So, one person apparently literally dug through all of the, you know, searching for roleplay posts, found my old post, Instead of just messaging me about it, reply to the post saying, Hey, this looks interesting. I'd love to try it. Message me sometime. Oh my gosh, a second apple. And then someone else saw that. It's like, well, this must be a recent post. Someone replied to it recently. Because posts are uh, ordered from the most recent comment. So after someone had dug it up, within like 10 to... I think in less than 20 minutes... Someone else had found it and also posted on it. It's like, hey, this looks fun. Message me and we can try this out. So now, starting up two... Oh my gosh, 18 is the minimum. Uh, time to run back now. Now, I don't think that just using the axe on nothing will give XP, but we can try it. So it's just about at that line. No, yeah, that actually does give XP, so might as well drain the rest of our health this way. Yeah, now this talks about doing, like, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie and Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and the Banjo-Kazooie GBA game, and... I... 
Uh, time boat. I uh, let's play for the channel again. It's like, I've barely played any Banjo Tooie, and I definitely didn't beat Nuts and Bolts. I mean, I got a little bit of XP. You definitely get more if you're actually, like, hitting stuff. This is fine. This is probably fine. But of course, for old games like that, I want to do something of a challenge to make it interesting. I could absolutely just do like a proper vanilla run of the Banjo games. Okay, it's not raining. I have 347. That's cool. That's going to go up. Oh. Plants are starting to grow. Yep, still have to water all the grass. Big old stump right there. What kind of a challenge run could I do for Banjo Kazooie anyway? Like, like I don't remember. Especially since I, yeah, like I have beaten Banjo Kazooie. Um,. If I knew enough about glitches, I could try to do, like, all levels backwards or something kooky like that. Or, you know, like, reverse level order or something. Yeah, all this watering is- it's almost like just a loading bar, just moving so darn slowly. I didn't like doing the fast forward mode to concentrate too much on that and couldn't think of, uh, stuff to talk about. It's not my cat. Cinnamon, are you okay? Cinnamon? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you scared? I saw that you had food in your bowl and I made sure to water you. Do you want snuggle time? Do you want to come on up? Okay. Very vocal kitty. Simon doesn't usually meow for stuff unless something is wrong, so I'm very concerned right now. Definitely uh, probably overnight sometime or just work on the channel, just upload a whole bunch of stuff. Wait a second. Alright, not now. Got most of my watering done, but now that I can go into town, I might as well go and see what the exact uh, requirements are. things. Oh yeah, pineapple. Cool. I want to sell some things.
Wait, you're not the one who builds monster barns? Then who builds the monster barns? Oh, it's you. Come on in. Come on oh, so it doesn't take any time. One, two. Three. Come on in. So, I just ordered 10 monster barns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that took all thousand wood. So is my other three. Oh, the basement floors. No? Excuse me, I ordered three extra monster binds. Okay, so this is basement one. Where's basement two? Because this says I have a basement two. So, so, looks like only seven actually get filled. Four, eight, twelve. Four, eight, twelve. So, twelve times seven equals seven. So, eighty-four. So I could just build the seven barns. And then, ouch, eight times seven. Even if it doesn't get the second basement. Okay, okay, so. This is why I saved just before doing this. Similar to the eight. So it turns out I probably could have built huts a while back, while it was raining. But I was uh, asking the wrong person. No feed and house level zero, so... Come on in. I wonder if 
Oh yeah, I wonder if it says uh, all three floors, but you don't actually get access to the other floors right away. So anyway, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Yeah, okay, 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 so that's what it is. It shows all the way, like all 12 spots, but you don't actually have access to all 12 spots. So, so important to I only have 28. I need to build like 13 total to have access to uh, at least 50 rooms. But with seven, that means each grazing grass that I harvest should give me seven feed because it should give one feed to each thing. Should. So, with that in mind now and that we have that down Okay, what is it? I want that little flying elemental thing. I know I can see it in a few rooms. Could also get the mage if this appears to be too difficult. Oh, it wasn't this one. Was it this one? Da 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 There you know. So I'm curious on seeing just how much one little water sprite can do. So if it will even go out and water the rest of these fields. But I should also go and buy a bunch of fodder. Alright, so this one has 18 feet and it has one monster in it. Uh, shoot, what were the monsters? I know there are other monsters that gave other things. Monsters! A uh, job. So there's some for harvest. Oh, right, I wanted a thing of. of those uh, hornets because they give honey. It's not full. Those two water. 
The sign does nothing. Could go for a woolly. It's wool. Yeah, go get some of the horns because they give honey. Also, just grab a woolly real quick, potentially. They say it's in Toro's Cave. I don't know where in Toro's Cave, but theoretically in Toro's Cave. Okay, okay. Um. I just want to boom factory monster watering. That at ten monsters go online to water and every six of the blah blah. Okay, so apparently they all water at 10 a.m. So since it is, I don't know, it's just 10 a.m. now. Because it might have been a bit late. So you know what? I should do the watering. It's whatevs. Maybe tomorrow I'll go and water. Who knows? Hopefully tomorrow it starts doing some watering. And I can focus more on stuff like grinding. Um, actually, since I'm Googling up answers to stuff anyway, I should go and check. Okay, it says, so apparently each monster will require one feed, is what I'm looking at. Alright, so. Is it a good time to go down and try to get some honey feeds? I, mm, I don't have the brush, do I? Nope. Sure, I'll get one eventually, though. And I figure everything's gonna be probably fine, maybe. Who really knows, honestly? 
I should, I guess, do a little bit of research on what sells the best. If it's like wool, if it's wool, whatever stuff, if it's honey, milk, eggs, yogurt, mayonnaise. And basically just get monsters that drop that. And Because I don't really need wool, because I'm not going to be, like, crafting clothes or anything, right? Milk and eggs probably going to be useful, because I... Because, hey, water can only challenge. I can still cook. Having a mon having a harvesting monster does sound useful, considering... I mean, uh, yeah, the issue about that is that once they start harvesting, I don't get any of my runes for that, so... So basically I have to run out, spend my room points uh, before the monsters come in to do any of their things. So now I'm going to do just a little bit of research. One moment. Okay, so all of this nice and watered. Eek. Okay, uh... Oh, shoot. hammer if I want to go to the um if I want to go find the woolly so I'm thinking get one woolly and get two of the hornet things Oh my god, Emery Flop exists. Oof. Emery Flop exists in this game, of course it does. Or maybe I should just get one. I should just get one wasp and just see how that goes on the honey. Instead of going strictly for two and just, you know, hoping to get um, enough. Yes, yeah, seven monster bonds really puts me back in terms of lumber collection. Technically also puts me back in terms of money collection, but Money is still pretty good, especially once I get this harvest of, what is it, corn? It's gonna give me a lot of a lot of money. But lumber, though, I still need 1100, so 110 logs. What do you mean you take two hits? Basically, every spot is full, huh? I mean, yeah, every once in a while, I might as well just come back here and just collect all of the stuff that there is to be collected. Chop at least the branches, if not the logs. Than trying to chop the logs would require a bit too much stuff. Oh, hey, look, one uh, untilled spot that didn't get things.
I'm sure I could harvest one of these, so. Now less certain. Okay, definitely harvest one. Not both, but one. I like that they put water next to the farms, so you don't have to, uh, be very, very worried about where you're potentially going to get water from. Hey, let's save! I saw the fine. I'm just gonna grab all of these things really quick here. Yes, it's getting late. Hopefully I can get back within two hours. I better be able to, really. Not gonna even try to clear out this stump. So it's square, let's name it circle. Circle? Oh. Sir. Yeah. Warp back out. Warp back home. I don't think you can team bosses in this game. Just a simple little case of putting everything away, and then everything's going to be fine. Nothing at all to worry about ever, period. Full on the red. And everything is good. Oh, here we go, and here we go. Alrighty. And save, and remember next episode to run to the bathhouse. Oh, I thought it was already like past seven. That's weird. Oh well. Plenty of time to go and do everything else we need to do. Hope that the creature uh, is going to start watering tomorrow. Hopefully it does. It had better. I hope to get the brush from someone eventually and figure out how to start getting honey. But yeah, next episode, go right back to grinding because, oh gosh, we need a heck of a lot more experience. I guess we could technically try to finish this dungeon, but I don't really see the need to finish this dungeon yet. So I'm putting it off. Because I'm pretty sure the next dungeon is wintertime only, so we are in no rush, I think. Hope we're not wrong.